Open code is insane. You're watching developers switch to new AI coding tools every week. You're trying to keep up with Cursor, with Copilot, with a dozen other options. But here's the problem. Most of them lock you into one provider, one ecosystem, one way of doing things, and you're paying premium prices for that limitation. What if I told you there's an open source coding agent with over 50,000 GitHub stars that works with any AI model you want, works directly in your terminal, and doesn't store a single line of your code anywhere? Hey, I'm Julian, and today we're diving deep into open code. This is the AI coding agent that's changing how developers work. Let me show you exactly why over 650,000 developers are using this every single month. So what exactly is open code? It's an open source AI coding agent that runs right in your terminal, but it's also available as a desktop app and an IDE extension. The cool part is you choose where you work, terminal, VS code, whatever fits your workflow, open code adapts to you instead of forcing you to adapt to it. Here's what makes open code different. It's completely open source with over 500 contributors constantly improving it. It supports over 75 AI model providers, Claude, GPT, Gemini, local models, whatever you want. Most tools lock you into one provider. Open code lets you switch anytime, privacy. Open code doesn't store your code anywhere. Everything stays on your machine, critical if you're working on sensitive projects. And here's the smart part, LSP integration, language server protocol. Open code automatically loads the right language servers for whatever you're coding. TypeScript project, it knows TypeScript. Switch to Go, it knows Go. Understands your code structure, dependencies, function signatures, way better context than tools that just read files line by line. Let me walk you through getting started. Installation takes about 30 seconds. Mac or Linux run this command, curl dash fssl open code dot ai slash install pipe bash. Windows use chocolatey scoop or npm. Once installed, configure your AI provider. Here's where open code Zen comes in. The open code team tested dozens of AI models specifically for coding tasks. They created a curated list that actually works well. You don't have to guess. They did the testing. You can use OpenCode Zen or any other provider. After you pick a provider, you navigate to your project directory and run OpenCode. The first time you use it in a project, you run the init command. This creates an agents.md file in your project root. This file helps OpenCode understand your project structure and coding patterns. Think of it like giving the AI a map of your code base. You should commit this file to Git because it makes open code more effective for anyone else working on the project. Now let's talk about the two modes that make open code really powerful, plan mode and build mode. This is where open code gets interesting. Plan mode is your read only mode. When you're in plan mode, open code analyzes your code and suggests changes, but it doesn't actually modify anything. This is perfect when you're working on a feature and you're not totally sure how to implement it. You describe what you want to open code. It creates a detailed plan showing exactly how it would build the feature, which files it would change, what code it would add. You review the plan, give feedback, refine it. Once you're happy with the approach, you switch to build mode. Build mode is where open code actually makes changes. This is full access mode. Open code can edit files, run commands, make the changes you approved in the planning phase. You switch between plan mode and build mode with just the tab key. You see an indicator in the corner showing which mode you're in. Here's a real example. Let's say you're building a notes app and you want to add a delete feature, but instead of permanently deleting notes, you want to flag them as deleted in the database, then create a screen showing recently deleted notes where users can restore them or permanently delete them. You describe this to open code in plan mode. It analyzes your code base, looks at how you handle database operations, checks your existing screens. Then it gives you a detailed plan. It might say, okay, I'll add a deleted flag to your notes table. I'll modify the delete function to update this flag instead of removing records. I'll create a new screen component. I'll add restore and permanent delete functions. Here's how I'll structure the UI. You review this plan. Maybe you want the UI designed differently. You tell OpenCode to reference a screenshot you have of another screen in your app. When I first started using OpenCode, I was overwhelmed by all the options and configurations. That's when I found this community called AI Profit Boardroom. 1800 members all focused on learning AI tools together and sharing what actually works. It taught me which workflows save time versus which ones waste it. The community shares real use cases and practical implementations. If you're serious about improving your work and skills with AI tools, check it out. Link in description. For simpler changes, you don't need to go through the whole planning phase. You can just ask open code in build mode to make straightforward updates, like adding authentication to a root. Just tell it to look at how authentication works in another file and apply the same logic. Give it enough detail and it handles it. 
Open code also has smart commands. You can create custom commands for tasks you do often. Let's say you frequently create new components with a specific structure. You create a command file in your project, define the pattern. Then whenever you need a new component, you just call your custom command with the component name. Open code generates it following your exact specifications. The multi-session feature is really useful. You can start multiple open code agents in parallel on the same project. Maybe one agent is working on the back end while another handles the front end, or one is debugging while another implements a new feature. They all run independently without interfering with each other. Now let's talk about the advanced features. The agent system lets you create specialized AI assistants for different tasks, a review agent that only reads code, a debug agent for finding issues, a docs agent for writing documentation, each with its own permissions and capabilities. The permission system gives you fine-grained control over which commands need approval and which directories are off limits. Skills are reusable instructions, create a skill once, open code loads it when relevant. This builds a knowledge base specific to your projects. Common patterns, company standards, best practices, themes and custom keybinds let you make open code look and feel exactly how you want. The GitHub integration is powerful. Mention open code in issues or pull requests. It runs inside GitHub Actions, triages issues, implements fixes, opens PRs, all automated. The VS Code extension brings open code into your editor with keyboard shortcuts to launch it in a split terminal and automatically share your current selection. If you're looking to dive deeper into AI tools and actually implement them in your work, I recommend AI Profit Boardroom. Over 1,800 people learning how to use AI effectively. Everyone shares real experiences, what's working, what's not, which tools are worth your time, which ones to skip, no hype, just solid information and practical guidance from people doing the work. It's helped me stay on top of updates and figure out how to actually apply them. Link in description if you want to check it out. If you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are building better workflows with AI. Getting started with open code is straightforward. Install it, pick a provider, run it in your project, start asking questions. The documentation on opencode.ai has clear examples and step-by-step -step guides. Give open code good context, be specific. Don't just say fix this bug, explain what's happening, what you expected, reference relevant files, treat it like a knowledgeable team member. Open code saves your conversations. You can go back to previous sessions, Pick up where you left off. File change tracking shows you exactly what changed. You see the diff, review modifications. This transparency helps you learn and catch issues. Look, open code isn't perfect, no tool is, but it solves real problems other AI coding tools create. The vendor lock-in, the privacy concerns, the lack of flexibility. If you're serious about using AI to improve your development workflow, open code deserves a real look. Install it, try it on a project, see how it fits. So that's open code an open source AI coding agent with control, flexibility, privacy, real productivity gains, over 50,000 GitHub stars, 650,000 developers using it monthly. This is where AI coding tools should go. Open, flexible, powerful, give it a try. The install takes 30 seconds. Links to everything are in the description. And if you want to master not just open code, but the full landscape of AI tools that actually improve your work, check out AI Profit Boardroom, an AI success lab, real implementations, real use cases, real community support. That's where you learn what actually works versus what's just hype. Thanks for watching. If this helped you understand open code, better hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more deep dives on AI tools, and I'll see you in the next one.